Turning to campaign 2020, John Ossoff won the Democratic primary for U.S. Senate and is now looking to unseat Republican incumbent David Perdue. The young politician says a lot needs to change between now and November, and he's ready to take state leaders to court if it doesn't. In a one-on-one -on -one interview, CBS 46's Brittany Miller gets the scoop on that and much more. In 2017, John Ossoff narrowly loses to Karen Handel in the 6th Congressional District race. It was the most expensive House race in history. Three years later, Ossoff saw a political comeback not even he was expecting. Tuesday's elections were filled with voting frustrations, faulty machines, and freakishly long lines. But in the midst of chaos, Democrat John Ossoff snagged 51% of the vote, winning the Democratic Senate primary. I, I was expecting a runoff in a field of seven candidates and multiple well-funded candidates. I was ready to continue to August. Ossoff will face incumbent Republican U.S. Senator David Perdue in November. But in the meantime, Ossoff says county and state officials need to fix persistent voting issues in certain communities, what he calls voter suppression. When the malign neglect of state election officials means that particularly black voters in precincts with strong Democratic turnout, election after election have four and six hour lines malfunctioning machines. The Secretary of State should be ashamed of himself. Telling me he's ready to take the Secretary of State to court. I'm putting him on notice, Britt. We will be ready to sue this state to defend voting rights between now and November. If elected, the 33-year-old says he will champion a new Voting Rights Act and Civil Rights Act. Also on his agenda. I will fight to ensure every single Georgian has great health care and the medicine they need at prices they can afford. I will fight for major investments in infrastructure and clean energy. Ossoff has one last message for those who don't think he's ready for Washington. I love my haters. I welcome criticism part of being in the arena and seeking to serve the public. It's my job to accept criticism. I reached out to Senator Perdue for a comment. As soon as I get that comment, I'll pass it along to you. Brittany Miller, CBS 46 News.